Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite arrogant boy, Gardner, the Linux gamer. I'm so arrogant, I get to say the year has been categorically good for everyone. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> This video is brought to you by my 126 amazing patrons over on Patreon, including the support of my top tier Singularity members. I want to give a special shout out to Webfreak. Webfreak, my dude, your support is truly appreciated. If you like this video, you can hit that like button. It really helps the show out. You can also hit that subscribe button and hit ring that notification bell while you're at it. If you're not so inclined to do that, if you don't like or trust YouTube, then you can always go over to lbry.tv slash at the Linux gamer. Uh, it's a totally open source and distributed alternative to YouTube, and I absolutely love it. It's the beginning of the year, and that means it's time to start prediction bingo for 2020. Uh, so basically the way this works is uh, there's a there's a prediction which I'm calling a setup. And then there's a punchline, which is just a joke and it's meant to make light of the prediction. Now I've done this for four years at this point, And you know what? I think it's a lot of fun. Prediction bingo is great. And uh, if you missed my follow-up video uh, for 2019, uh, I did it just like a week ago. There'll, there'll be a little uh, thing up here in the corner. Uh, so here's the deal. I actually uh, was notified by a couple of people, including Kyle Rankin from um, Purism, that I did get a bingo, actually. I got the bingo in the last video, uh, which, hey, that's a first. I actually did a prediction bingo. <laughs> um, that's actually really awesome. Uh, Purism actually did uh, announce a, an unannounced, a previously unannounced feature, which means I actually got that bingo for 2019. That's pretty awesome. That's a, that's a big deal because most of these are meant to be jokes. Uh, <laughs> so, wow. All right. Let's shoot for another bingo this year, shall we? Here we go. If you want to follow along, you can head over to heavyelement.io slash predictions. Um, these predictions are over there. You can see previous years um, predictions as well. Uh, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get started with this, shall we? Uh, the first prediction is that Disney will, uh, acquire a AAA publisher in order to consolidate its control of your media habits even further. Uh, <laughs> the publisher in question is EA, yet somehow we still don't have a decent Star Wars game to play for another decade. Next prediction. Uh, Tesla's latest design revision for the Cybertruck has critics and fans sharply divided for the new and controversial look. Instead of a low-poly DeLorean, the Cybertruck now looks like a low-poly Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I think that's probably where they're headed with the Cybertruck. It's going to look like a frickin' uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Why not? Microsoft starts charging their users for non-critical Windows 10 updates in a service they're calling Windows 10 Live Gold. They revive MS Paint as Windows 10 Live Gold's killer app. Um, yeah, I figured when they were killing off uh, Microsoft Paint that they were going to be rolling out a premium version of it. Uh, this is just an extension of that prediction. <laughs> All right, next prediction. Two leaders of the open source world will retire this year, just in time, too, as Twitter was about to cancel them. Oh, man, that's going to piss some people off, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> next prediction. Electronic Arts shows off the new Command & Conquer remaster, eminently more playable than the original. They even announced that it's coming to Linux. I don't think I get a point for that one. <laughs> Brian Lenduk successfully completes an entire year without social media or mobile data. Instead, he spends his time with his family and lives a more authentic and fulfilling life. That's just me hoping uh, that this works out for him. I love Brian. He's awesome. An expose on Mark Zuckerberg reveals his true motivations for starting Facebook. Turns out he's actually an IG model assassin droid wrapped in a meat puppet. All he's ever wanted to do is destroy civilization, and he's so close to realizing his goal. Some of these predictions turn out kind of dark, actually. But you know what? Comedy's not funny unless it's dangerous, right? <laughs> in 2020, it's revealed that the Chinese government requires all foreign companies doing business there uh, must implement backdoors for the regime. Somehow, the tech companies had, quote, no idea and simultaneously claimed that, quote, that's just the cost of doing business in China. And you want to keep your cheap crap, don't you? Yeah, I'll get thrown into prison for that one. My next prediction is the Librem 5 Evergreen ships on schedule with its promised feature set. The goalpost movers still somehow consider it a scam. Next prediction. Half-Life Alex releases and it breaks records. It outsells Wii Sports. I'm actually really excited for Half-Life Alex. I don't know about you. I bought a headset just because they announced the game. So 
We'll see how that goes. The open source world becomes embroiled in a scandal, the likes of which we've not seen in years. The scandal involves porn stars, Bitcoin, and declassified FISA court records. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Leaks from the Googleplex shows that the once dominant web firm is on the verge of all out civil war. YouTube takes the opportunity to secede from Alphabet. YouTubers elect Ethan Klein of H3H3 Productions, its new CEO. I actually would be totally in favor of that. Uh, YouTube should just secede from Google, uh, from Alphabet, and we should elect uh, H3 as the, uh, as the leader of YouTube. I, I would be totally down for that uh next prediction is the free space uh canonical is acquired by a major player in the tech world canonical's new parent company it's amazon and ubuntu becomes a proprietary distro for aws next prediction disney debuts their new ai assistant it's worse than siri but you can change the assistant's voice to any disney character it becomes the most popular ai assistant in the world launch details are given for the xbox series x the Xbox Series X comes in five unique models. The five editions are the Xbox Series X Founders Edition, Xbox Series X ES, Xbox Series X SXGT, Xbox Series X Triple X, and Xbox Series X I Went to College to Learn How to Name Products Edition. There you go. That's <laughs> because, you know, Microsoft doesn't know how to name their frickin' products. LBRY breaks new ground as it rolls out new features that are actually useful for creators. Live streaming through blockchain becomes a thing. I'd be in favor of that. Alphabet announces its new privacy initiative meant to put people's minds at ease over their ubiquitous surveillance. Meanwhile, they activate the microphones they, quote, accidentally included in their Nest thermostats to determine if you're, quote, worthy of privacy. I like that one. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Facebook demos six new Oculus headsets to be launched in 2020, flooding the VR market with even more trashy headsets. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like Facebook. Next prediction. Four more major Hollywood studios launch their own streaming services. Warner Brothers puts Looney Tunes shorts on their new service, including the racist ones. Twitter absolutely loses their effing mind. And really, that's exactly what they wanted. <laughs> Microsoft, quote, retires legacy Windows applications and services from Windows 10 Home Edition. They say that Windows 10 user telemetry shows that it's, quote, not widely used enough to justify further support. Because they're spying on you. And then they lie about what they're spying on you as. That's the joke. Google announces six AAA exclusives for Stadia. And yet there's still nobody playing Stadia. I'm just going to give myself a point for that one right now. A new cryptocurrency catches the fancy of crypto enthusiasts, leading to a boom and subsequent bust. You know, because gamblers never learn their lesson. <laughs> Next prediction. YouTube enacts a new policy meant to make the platform safer for creators. The policy actually bans any channel that has ever used the word jumbo in a video because of its historically insensitive nature. Get woke. <laughs> uh, with Windows 10 reaching its end of service, many banks, quote, rush to secure their ATMs, which now run obsolete software. Well, I say rush, but that's only after a swath of ATMs get hacked. They don't care unless they're losing money. <laughs> and finally, Walmart and Amazon team up in a joint venture to, quote, improve the employee experience. Employees are required to accept a subdermal microchip in order to be added to payroll, to clock in or out, or even to be addressed by name by their superior. Yeesh, that's a, that's a bummer to end on, isn't it? <laughs> well, those are my predictions for 2020. Uh, that last one was really dark. I'm still kind of recovering from that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys have to say about this. Uh, yeah, this is this this was fun to make. Uh, I'm interested to see where <laughs> you guys fall on some of these. Uh, leave me a comment below. But I think that's going to do it for this video. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description. But uh, no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.